Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We've covered ball pythons, corn snakes, king snakes, but one of the groups we've never really talked about much, and it's one of the most diverse groups of non-venomous snakes out there, it's rat snakes. We're gonna spend some time talking about it. You're watching Snake Bites. Rat snakes are a medium to large constricting snake basically found all over the northern hemisphere. Previously, most of them were actually in the genus Elaphae, but now they've been broken up all over the place. As a matter of fact, corn snakes, one of the more common rat snakes, used to be in the Elaphae and now are Pantherophis. So there's a lot of change going on. The thing that's interesting about rat snakes is how variable they are. They can literally be 10 foot long and aggressive or 6 foot long and super tame. Again, corn snakes being one of the cool rat snakes out there in great pet snakes but as you can see even this black rat snake is actually a very docile animal but these guys can actually get up to eight foot long I want to take and just show you a few really cool rat snakes we work with these are licorice stick black rat snakes and this is a mutation where you can see the, they have white down their sides, no pattern whatsoever. And the reason they got their name is the original guy that produced them actually was out in Maryland and he felt that they actually looked like there was a licorice stick right down their back pattern. And that's where the name actually came from and it kind of stuck. So it's kind of an interesting mutation. This is a, an albino black rat snake. And this was actually one of the first mutations of black rat snakes out there. It's probably been around for about 15 years. And it was actually the first one that I ever purchased. I remember when I was first starting out, I just loved them to death. Back then they were worth a lot of money and I ha just had to have them. Now they've become pretty affordable. And as you can see, they make pretty good pets. This is an albino and a licorice. So it's an albino licorice. This is a double recessive mutation. One of the things that's really cool about rad snakes too is that they don't have the cat-like slit eyes that you see in a lot of snakes. They actually have round pupils because they're really more diurnal animals, which means they will crawl around during the day. Rounding out the black rat snakes are these new cystic black rat snakes. So they're just pure white and really incredible. Moving on to something completely different. These are albino Chinese beauties, but they're actually a type of rat snake too. They're a Tiniera, which is a different genus, but they're still considered in the rat snake family. This is an albino here, and this is what they look like as a normal animal. Again, both animals are just really beautiful. It's almost like they have two different snakes. Their front and their back colors are completely different. A much smaller species of rat snake are these bear's rat snakes. Now this is actually what they're calling an albino, but really it's more like a hypo or maybe even a tyrosinase positive albino. They do have red pupils, but they're not the normal albino that we see with orange and white or something like that. Nevertheless, beautiful animals, and these guys only max out at about four foot, and are, as you can see, are really placid animals and really good pets. Hey, this is Ailey with more for the week, and today with me, I have a blue-eye loose stick. And this is a super lesser ball python. And how these are made is when two lessers mate, there's a 25% chance that it's gonna come out a blue-eyed leucistic. This has been Ailey with more from the week. Tune in next week. Now getting back to the bigger snakes, and sometimes not nearly as tame, are these king rat snakes. These are actually Alaphae carinatas. They actually call them stinking goddesses. These guys can get up to eight or nine foot, and you can see they're a little bit of a handful to handle. They're actually really cool animals. On to another snake that gets a little bit larger and can be a little bit of a handful at times too are these Texas rat snakes. They're very similar to the black rat snakes, but they have a little bit more of an attitude. The black rats really are docile by nature, and as you can see, this guy's coming up right to my face, and if I wasn't careful, it would literally take a strike right at my face. You can see it essing up. That's definitely a bad sign. I showed you guys the leucistic black rats earlier. Now there's actually a leucistic Texas rat. The exact same animal as far as the color goes, just a solid white snake, and they actually even have a little bit of a bluish eye, but again, they have a little bit more of a temper problem than the black rats have. Other than that, they're really awesome animals, and this is actually one of the first leucistic snakes that was ever produced. This is an aneurythristic Texas rat snake, which basically means it's lacking all the red pigment. And this is an animal that just kind of popped up in one of our breedings. We raised it up and proved it out to be a recessive trait. This is a snow Texas rat. And what's really cool about this is I think that we have the only ones in those aneurythristics that we produced before, we were able to breed it to an albino and then ultimately produce this double recessive trait, which is a snow Texas rat. And again, I haven't seen anyone else has them. Doesn't mean that they're the only ones, but it's the only ones I know of. 
Of course, there's the rhino rat snakes. Every chance I get a chance to show these guys off, I always do. For some reason, they're one of my favorite snakes that I work with. I love these guys so much, and they're breeding really well, so we should have babies later this summer. Then there's these mandarin rat snakes. These guys are from Asia, and with the yellows, blacks, and even reds bleeding through, for me, they're one of the prettiest naturally occurring non-venomous snakes. Now, these are only a handful of rat snakes I've shown you. There's actually a ton more that I work with and a ton more out there. And even though these guys sometimes get a bad rap for being aggressive, as you can see, a lot of them can make great pets. And even the ones that are aggressive, don't give up on them. With a little handling, they can be really tame as well. Rat snakes are an animal you guys do not want to pass up if you're collecting snakes. So we've seen a bunch of rat snakes. Some of them have been tame and some have been mean. And we all know that snakes love to bite Chewy. So that brought a question up to me. Is it the snakes or is it Chewy? So we're gonna see if this king rat snake is an equal opportunity biter with George here. <laughs> we have a pretty aggressive rat snake here, Chewy. Let's see what you got. Okay, there's no doubt that this snake did not like Chew at all. Let's see how he feels about George. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Here you go. Okay. Whoa! Oh, oh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I think we proved the fact that snakes don't just hate Chewy, they obviously hate George too. I think we might need some further testing. Hey, Kel! For this week's Comment of the Week on the Reptiles in Bay Chicago episode, the question was, what's the biggest, ugliest person you've ever seen? And Super Redder one said, Ugliest person has to be someone I only know as the Beast of Bowburn. I had heard rumors, but only saw her outside of my workplace. The manager told the security guard to get rid of her and got told to do it himself. She eventually went to McDonald's and almost the entire place emptied. I can tell you now, I'd never hit a woman, but my reasons for not hitting her would be fear, and bear in mind I'm six foot five and a good build, she would kick my ass. Okay, well, to be honest with you, I try never to say anyone's ugly, but it does sound like that person was pretty scary. Until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. All right, guys, it's Cal's Question of the Week. Now, getting the bits just a daily routine here. We're just used to it. Let me know something about your job that kind of sucks, but you just got used to it over time. Text or video comment below. Let me know. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and maybe even got a new appreciation for rat snakes. Something that we're really excited about here at Snake Bites is next week is the official launch of our show on Next New Networks. If you're watching the show on YouTube, nothing's going to change. It's just going to give new fans an easier way to find our show. And let's face it, more people watching the show means more reptile lovers. Until next week, this has been Snake Bites.